Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to talk about a pest problem that we've got. And it's not gonna be the boy. Something is eating the basil and the Harry Lauder's walking stick. According to Griffin, it's the Japanese beetles that are eating it. If you look carefully, you can see one in there. And now we're starting to catch them on the tiger eye staghorn sumac as well. Now we've got them on a couple different plants, so we went and we picked something up. So we picked up a beetle bagger by Bonide. Uh, it's specifically meant for Japanese beetles. Now, this entire kit comes with everything you're gonna need to start it all out, except for something to hang it on. Now, the directions indicate that because of our placement being our plants are over here and over here that are so affected by it, they wanna be eight to 25 feet away and about three feet off the ground. So what I've done is I've hung it on a shepherd's hook that we aren't using, put the bag together with the lure, and scent. It's about three feet off the ground and about 25 feet away or so from the plants that are being affected. Hopefully this will help our plants out and take care of the problem. Uh, it does come with an extra disposable bag so we can do that and the kit actually comes with replacement uh, scent and bag so we can actually re-up it if this set all fills up completely. Now that's not the only problem we're having. Uh, this year isn't as bad as last year but we have a major issue with uh, biting flies and uh, uh, deer fly. In the front yard this is where they like to hang out and all this thick vegetation and weeds. They hang out in here and as soon as you come up here or people start using the path, they attack. This is where we have it. So our thicket's here and we hung it on a tree about 10 feet away. Now we also have the issue back here by the playground set. So we're gonna do the same, th same thing and hang the same uh, outdoor trap back here. I'll just show you how simple it is to put together. We have it filled to the water line with water. Open up the pack. Yeah. Dump it in. Yeah. No. What happened? What happened? What happened? That's simple. Now that's perfectly set up for Griffin with all of these, uh, the bushes and trees at the back of our property. The deer fly back here are pretty terrible. Now when I'm back here working, uh, which isn't very often, I do have something, some other precautions. So when I'm back here, I can use this and I'm being attacked by a deer fly now. But these are patches that go over the top of your hat or on top of your hat that as the deer fly buzz the top of your head, they get stuck on it and it keeps them away. So hopefully with everything we have and we've put up together, uh, this should alleviate some of the problems that we we're having. So I've covered deer fly and Japanese beetle. The last thing I'm gonna cover are mosquitoes. We have the Dynatrap. What it does is we've got a mosquito lure in here with the light, it uh, attracts the mosquitoes and it looks like mostly moths and blows them down into there and it holds them inside. Now, you're supposed to put it someplace that's not directly near or exactly where you are going to be entertaining or sitting. So we have it right around the corner from the porch that we use most often. So that's it. Those are our major uh, culprits in the yard. So we will keep you updated. This is all fresh and new to us. So we don't know how each one of these traps are gonna go. So we'll give you an update on how they fill up. The Dyna trap does seem to be working pretty good since we aren't getting uh, completely attacked up on the porch. So overall, it's a new experience for us with the amount of bugs that we have in this yard since we come from the city. So hopefully this will alleviate all of our problems and save some of our plants. All right, guys, so I thought I'd give you a little update on how the fly trap and the Japanese beetle trap were going. So the fly trap is almost completely full, so we may actually have to get a refill for this one. The Japanese beetle fly trap is doing pretty good. We're seeing a lot less of them on our plants, so I think we're going to actually have to get a second one of these and set it up in the yard to see if we can get a few more. 
The Dynatrap is doing well. It is catching mostly moths, but it's catching something. This trap is doing just as well, but I do have to say that the smell is absolutely horrendous. It's almost like a rotting putrid kind of a smell. Overall, they've done exactly what they're supposed to do, but I think we can kick it up a notch and get a few more. But that's for a different day. That's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.